Hi CMS members, Steve LaRock here to demonstrate how you can get Cambridge University Press to send you an email when there are new research articles online for CJM or CMB. There are two kinds of such emails. You can wait for the research to be included in a new print issue and then get the table of contents sent out for the new issue. Or you can get the Cambridge system to check every week or day or month as you decide for all new research and send you a list of the newest research posted even before it has been collected into a new print issue. These are the research articles that appear in the first few section of the site. Cambridge uses several names for this feature, but really they're all just content alert emails. I've listed the most common names here, but content alert is what shows up at the top of each email, so I just call them content alerts. You can activate the issue-based content alerts and or the first few content alerts for each of CJM and CMB independently. So let's see what these emails look like so you can decide whether you want them at all. Now here's an example of a content alert message sent out when a new issue of CJM is published. The sender is Cambridge University Press, of course, since they're our new publishing partner. So you'll want to make sure your spam filter allows emails in from this address, academic at updates.cambridge.org. Now, in the email message body, you'll first notice the newly redesigned cover of the journal. And below that, you see the table of contents for the new issue, with each research article listed and linked to its appropriate abstract page and full paper content. One of the names given to this kind of email is an ETOC, which is the Electronic Table of Contents, for a new issue. Sometimes Cambridge calls it an Issue Alert email. So what you see here is an example for a new CJM issue, but you'd have the same kind of thing for a new CMB issue if you activate it for the bulletin. Now let's take a quick look at the other kind of email alert a first view content alert, which shows the newest posted research for the bulletin. That's research that hasn't yet appeared in a print issue. First view, as you probably know, is that section of the site that collects and displays the research articles that are published online, but haven't yet made it through to a print issue. On the old CMS website, we called it the online first section. So on the screen, you're seeing an example of a content alert email message that might be sent out listing the newest research articles appearing in first view for the bulletin. It has the same basic layout as the issue alert we saw a moment ago, but is triggered on a calendar basis, such as every week if you choose that, rather than waiting on a print issue to be created. I think these alerts are best for those people who don't care about whether or when the print issue is created, but they do want quick notification about the newest research appearing in finally edited online form. Sometimes Cambridge calls this an article alert to distinguish it from the issue alerts, like I showed you earlier with the CJM. Counting up then, there are four different content alert emails that you can choose to activate. Number one is notification of new CJM print issues and their contents. Number two is a list of new CJM research articles that have been posted in the past fixed time period, such as a week, and that's regardless of whether they're printed or not. And numbers three and four are the corresponding ones for the bulletin. Okay, I'm gonna start by activating both article alerts and issue alerts for the bulletin. Then later, I'll activate them for the journal as well. So first, I'll go over to the Bulletin's homepage on Cambridge Court. Here it is, the main page for the Bulletin. Over here in the right side icons, you see a bell symbol that says Add Alert when you hover on it. That's what I want, so I'll click on that. Now I get this warning message appearing because I'm not already logged in. You have to be logged into Cambridge Core with your account in order to manage your alerts. Initially, you probably don't have such an account, but they're free and they only take a minute to set up. So I'll do that by clicking the register link here. Here's the registration page for an account. 
It's pretty standard stuff, so I'll just fill it out quickly. Here I filled out the registration form. The ORCID is something you can safely ignore. And you can also ignore the organization field if you like, but if you do fill it in, it should be the name of your university or institution, not the CMS. Down below, there are a couple of consent checkboxes. You need to agree to the terms of use, but the one below it looks like mostly a marketing email opt-in, so I'm going to skip that one. And now I'll just complete the CAPTCHA challenge and submit the form. So this message says I've created the account, but to complete the setup, it sent me an email that I have to respond to now. This is pretty common for registrations. Okay, jumping ahead, here's the page I see when I click on the link in the confirmation email that was sent. There's this blue box at the top that says, thank you for registering, and now please log in. Now when you log in, you need to log in with your Cambridge Core account. That's the top option. Down below, there's a society login option, but that's not for CMS members. It's only for a few societies that share a single sign-on mechanism with Cambridge. So just go up and click that top button. So here's the login form and I filled it in. So now I can submit that. Now I've logged in. Remember that I started this whole registration login process when I tried to add alert on the bulletin. So now this blue notification box here is telling me that the alert is activated. By default, when you first set it up, both the issue alerts and the first few article alerts are activated. If that's what you want, that's fine, but I'm going to tweak them. I could click the My Alerts link in that blue box, but instead, let's look at the My Account menu that's appeared in the upper right now that I've logged in. Here's the menu. This is where you can find the logout command, but we'll choose the My Account selection and go in there. In the first page of My Account, uh, you see here my personal details. And on the left are several panels of settings. I'm going to choose My Alerts. So this section lets me configure the alerts for my account. If I have multiple journals I'm following on Cambridge Core, they'll all be listed here. Scrolling down, you can see that just the bulletin is listed. And for that, I'm currently marked for issue alerts as well as article alerts. The article alerts are set to go out weekly if there are any new art research articles posted online that week. So now I'll add the CJM to my list of alerts. So I click on Add Alert and I search for it here by starting to type in the name. There it is below, so I choose it. There, now I see both the CJM and CMB listed here. So here are the other options for how frequently to send out first few article alerts for any particular publication. Daily, weekly, monthly, or never if you don't want article alerts at all. The default is weekly. So you just choose what you prefer. And that's the job finished. I'm all set up, so now I'll get those contact alerts in my inbox when they're sent out by Cambridge. Thank you.